Hi, it's Lisa Weinstein. Welcome to Broker Talk, where I tour beautiful homes, talk about great design, and give you the kind of tips and insights you need to be a savvy buyer and seller. Today, I'm at 1923 West Brabantia. This is a resale single family home on the market on a double lot in Bucktown. Kyle Harvey from Baird & Warner is gonna show us around today. Let's take a look. Kyle, so this is a huge home. 6,000 square foot, a little over 6,000 square feet, right. over um, four levels. On a lower level, but it's one of those levels that it opens up to the outside rather than being underground, and then three above. And look at this amazing staircase. So I came in here and walked around a little bit earlier with Kyle, and the, the most interesting feature to me of the hall really is this central staircase. So whoever the architect was, he designed the house to sort of live around this. It's very warm with wood and steel and glass, pretty and, modern. And rock solid. It's one of those really, yeah. it's a it's, while it's open tread, it really feels solid. You never feel like, oh, staircase. Yeah. And then all around you, you have this beautiful outdoor space. There's yeah. three huge outdoor spaces here, right? And there's, there's one on the lower level, a, a garden a little bit on the mid level, um, a garage um, deck, big garage deck, and then a, thir uh, a third major outdoor space on the third floor. So we're going to check some of these out. but. What, today, one of the things I really love is how warm this is because there's a lot of dark wood in here. So it's modern, but it's not, it's cozy. And that's sort of what makes it really interesting to me. Well, one of the things that I think is most interesting about this main floor is you can really be anywhere in it and feel connected to what other people are doing. So I've been to parties in this space mm -hmm. and the people who are cooking are really connected to the people who are all over this main floor. It's so open. It's so open, but it's also enough together. Everything flows and makes sense. So you, you're having a drink, talking to the chef, you come over here, you sit down, mm -hmm. the dining table is here, there's a bar over there. It's ju it just really makes sense for somebody who loves to entertain. I can see that. Or just relax. So yeah. You know, these little great spaces here for relaxing, which is really pretty. I and like so this. much light. You've got light in this house on like all four sides. So this is a different than a spec home. I guess this home was not a spec home, no. was built custom, and then it sort of changed and went through some things with different owners. But the reason this is a little bit different layout is because of the architect and because it wasn't a spec home, right? It wasn't a spec home, and my people are the first people to ever live in it. So one of the things that to me is kind of cool about this is the location. So we're on Wabansia, mm -hmm. which is one of the best streets, I think, in Bucktown, right? Yes. And then we're, because we're on the 1900 block, we're just a block from Damon. So many things over on Damon, right? easy, easy. So you walk to restaurants and stuff, and then we're right near the 606. It's right over there. Yeah, right Just there. Just one block north mm -hmm. is the 606 trail. And then you're also by Club Lucky. <laughs> you're by Club Lucky. There are all sorts of parks Thumbs up. and um, junk, you know, places for kids to play. Um, Jonathan Burr Elementary School is just a few blocks east on Wabansia. Mm -hmm. It's it's really a fantastic location. Yeah, I love it. Let's check out the kitchen. Let's go over here, check out the rest. You've got all these interesting lights. I love the different fixtures that are in here. They're um, very custom. Uh, all the fixtures in here look custom. To they me. are. They are. Right. Yeah. Whether they're from Lytology or where they got these from, they're clearly all custom. Yeah. Um, but. So this is a design um, really for a cook in mind. Um, it is Thermador Professional um, appliances, but what's really great are the two sinks and the two dishwashers. <laughs> so you never will have run out of dishes. Um, and it's great for somebody who likes to entertain because it, it makes it really easy. Mm -hmm. That's a huge stove, huh? Yeah, and there's a lot of storage. Let's talk a little bit about those outdoor spaces. So there's three main outdoor spaces. One is down here. Yes. Right? This is the outdoor space that connects to the lower level, which is a really a wonderful party space that has a bar with another dishwasher. Okay. And, um, and just a huge TV. It's just a wonderful space for a family to relax in. It's like a courtyard, basically. It feels like Around, a courtyard. And, but, but the downstairs is the thing that I was talking about. Then upstairs is the, um, just up these, uh, one flight of stairs is the garage deck. 
-hmm. which is the size of the three car garage, which is just to the door. You'll see that door, Rachel, right there. Um, and then the third major outdoor space is on the third floor. Okay. So let's go check out the next floor up. Okay. okay. So now we're on the second floor. This is the main floor with three bedrooms. This is right. the main bedroom floor. Bedroom floor. So we have the, uh, the main bedroom and two um, of the extra bedrooms. So, um, and they share a bathroom there. This floor also has a full-size washer dryer, so you don't have to go downstairs. There is another laundry room downstairs, however. So and look at this outdoor space right off the master. <laughs> Can we walk in here? Absolutely. That's so cool. I love this. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this space is beautiful. And you can see kind of here how this feels like a little bit of a courtyard because you're kind of looking in all this light and windows up and down. Very protected down it's there. A very, it's a very kind of a private home. Very private. Look at this outdoor space. Yeah, and it is really quiet out here. Huh? Because of the, the sides around it, the, the three sides, it makes it feel really private. It's not funny that you have the kitchen here. But to me, this would be like a romantic, because it's right off the bedroom. It's where I want to come at night and cuddle and have a glass of wine, right? You could absolutely do that, but there's enough space that you can have a kitchen. This is not yet a kitchen. The next people could, because there's water, gas, and electrical, all um, connectable up here. Yeah. This is so pretty, I love it. Oh, it's really it's great. great outdoor space. Yeah, beautiful. And I like the brick on this home. It's very pretty. And you've got the tinted windows here as well, so we're not, there's more privacy because of that. All three um, levels are accessible to all three outdoor spaces. Mm -hmm. So you just um, go up and down through this outdoor outdoor staircase and connected systems. So let's check out the real quick the master. Let's show you what this looks like. Right, you know, off the master, all the bedrooms are all the way around it. Which I think is a really nice kind of a flow to this home. It's just really feels like the bedroom level. It's beautiful. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. You got a lot of walls here for art, which is great. And they have a lot of art. They love it. <laughs> so come on in. So yeah, it's a big room, huh? It is. It's a good size room and um, very private, very quiet. Very tranquil. Yeah. Very peaceful. Let's look at the bathroom here. This is huge, right? It is. <laughs> and the floors have radiant heat. Mm -hmm. That's a steam shower. Beautiful tub. Big, beautiful tub, private bathroom. Again, they're really nice sliding fixtures. They're all custom in here. Mm -hmm. And it has an enormous closet. I already checked that out. Really good light. Uh huh. Yeah. But it just it feels really tranquil in here. Yeah. That's why I like it. Okay, let's go upstairs and check that out. <clears throat> Again, look at this staircase. Kind of pan all the way down. You can just really see the whole home. You can be here. You can kind of say, hey, what are you doing down there for breakfast? <laughs> right? So there are four zones for heating and air conditioning. Um, the lower level is all radiant heat. The main floor is one zone. And then these, um, the top, the second and third floor are both, um, have two zones. Mm -hmm. They cover the, um, the east and the west. Mm -hmm. Just look that way. Do you want to walk up here? Check this out. This is the last big outdoor space here. It is. Okay, let's check this out, guys. And though that faces north, mm -hmm. you go up. Up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. This so, is right over the street, right? It is. It's over the street. And it, though it's north, it gets a lot of light. And this is where they grow peppers in the summer. Are these peppers? These were. These are two. Are these, what are these? I, you know, you're asking the wrong question. <laughs> it's all right. I was going to say, are those tomatoes? But I don't think so. I think they have, are they, they have them, I think, in the back garden. So you have this beautiful space up here again. It's looking over Wagansia. Yeah. But this is the smallest deck. That's yeah. pretty amazing about this space. Yeah. So there aren't too many homes like this right now in the market. No. In Bucktown, there's not a lot of huge luxury on double lots. Well, you know, it's interesting. I've, I've, I've been studying what's going on in um, Bucktown right now, and really it's 
homes in the 1.2, 1.3 million dollar range, the smaller homes on a standard size lot, um, that all look exactly the same, um, and they're and they're moving quickly, so that they come on and go right. off. Right. So this is the only sort of luxury home on a wider lot currently available in in the Bucktown area. So just to understand, Bucktown does have smaller lots than like Lincoln Park Lake. So this is a 48, it's a double lot, it's 48 by 80, right? Yes. So it's a different lot size over here, but it's a huge house. Yes. And yeah. So guys, if you're interested, um, please reach out and we can get a hold of you very easily. I'll tag you on this. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks for Thank the Thank you for coming. Okay, bye.